Greetings, Grey Witch here. Today I wanted to show you how I catch spotted bass at the Lone Star Lake and make a decent amount of money at the same time. Because one of the things that you're going to learn real fast in this game is that money does not last long once you start upgrading gear, buying lures, buying bait, and traveling to new locations to fish. So you really need to have a steady way of making money. And this is a really good one, especially for lower level players. I even use this all the time just to bring in extra cash. Now you can catch spotted bass from pretty much any location along this lake. But if you're a low level player, the first place you want to head to is the bridge and cast out into the middle of the lake. That way you don't have to deal with as many underwater obstructions or anything to get snagged on. So what I'll do is I come over here, choose my lure, and cast out just somewhere right about in this area. You really want to look for where the fish are showing signs of activity on the top of the water. That helps out. And then just let the lure rest on the bottom just for a couple seconds. And this gives the chance for the fish to return because when you splash the lure in, this scared them away. And this will let them come back in and see what's going on. And then you can start your retrieve. Now I use lift and drop. It's a real easy one to do. It's L2, R2, L2, R2, L2 to lift, R2 to drop. Just like that. You'll figure it out and get a hang of it pretty quick. It works real well. This one and stop and go is another good one for this lake. And with any luck, you'll catch a fish. Just keep working it back and forth. I tend to use lures that are yellow and green for this lake. Uh, other ones that are good are silver, and brass, casting spoons. I tend to use more spoons than anything else here. It just seems to be the lure that works the best. Just like that, caught a fish, we'll bring them in. All right, that's how it works. Now I'm gonna cast right back to the same spot because another thing about spotted bass is they're a school fish. So if you catch one, chances are if you catch back, cast back to the same spot, you'll catch another one right there. It's a pretty good way of catching these fish. But you're usually gonna catch about three or four in the same spot. And then you'll have to move to a different area. And don't be afraid to move around the lake to look for a fish because there's a lot of spots around here that you can catch good fish with. Now, if you want to increase or decrease the speed of your retrieve, you want to press up or down on the D-pad. Normally in the morning, I'll keep mine slow and then in the afternoon, I'll move it up a little bit more because fish are more active when the water's warmer. But right now, just keep it slow like that and it works pretty good, especially with the lift and drop. Because the faster you make it, the harder it is to control the lure so start out keeping it real slow with any luck you'll get some bites hopefully some strikes and be able to land some fish boom like that now the clicking noise that you're hearing is the drag now to set the drag you want to press left or right on the d-pad and i tend to keep mine set to the weakest amount that i can use to catch the fish because sometimes these strikes will be real powerful and they'll break the line so you don't want to lose the lure. It'll bum, bum you out and you know, it's a bad time all around. So make sure you keep that drag setting set to where it won't break the line. Now using live bait has its pros and cons. And the ones that I like to use the most are grasshoppers, red worms, and small minnows. Grasshoppers and red worms are more of the ones that you want to go to because they're the least ex expensive ones. You want to use a one-aught hook. That way you're not catching all the junk fish or other fish like that that you don't want to catch. Because the spotted bass are the ones that you're going to make the money on. And if you're using too small of a hook, you'll start catching bluegills and crappie. And it's just, I mean, you can keep them and make a little bit of money, but you really just want to concentrate on the spotted bass. So some of the cons of using bait is it does seem to take longer to catch fish. I like using lures because I can control the speed of what I'm catching. It just seems like it's moving more faster with lures. Bait just seems like it takes longer. And another thing is, is bait you have to keep buying. And bait is expensive in this game, especially if you're using stuff like small minnows. The small minnows, that's $300 for 10 minnows. So that's a $30 piece of bait that you're using. So you really want to make sure that you're catching spotted bass at least $90 worth of fish so you're getting the money back that you're spending in bait because otherwise you're just throwing it away. 
that's why I like the grasshoppers. Grasshoppers on a one-aught hook, about 24 inches to 34 inches leader. You can't really go wrong with it. You can nail some pretty good sized fish. You can actually catch some really big fish with live bait, which is a plus. And sometimes lures won't work. You'll have you'll throw every lure you've got in your tackle box. You won't catch a thing. But if you set up a reel with live bait, and you'll start nailing. It's just sometimes live bait is better. Sometimes lures work better. It's one of those things you're going to have to figure out because everybody fishes different. So the way that you fish will be completely different from the way I fish. All I can do is show you what I do and to see if some of those things will help you. That's not too shabby. You'll get to about 30 pounds as your maximum amount of spotted bass that you can catch on the lake. And once you hit that area, you'll find it to be a lot harder to catch fish. So it took me about an hour and a half to catch 30 pounds worth of fish. So I'm going to leave and see how much money I made. So in an hour and a half, I made $2,360. That's not too bad. 30 pounds of fish. It's pretty good. All right. Well, this is Gray Witch. I hope this video helps you out and I will see you next time. Peace.